GPT-5's pricing has gotten a lot of attention. I tested it against Claude Opus 4.1 on the same task. GPT-5 costs 8.8 .8 times less. But there are some concerning findings in this release. Let's look at the architectural changes, benchmark discrepancies, and my side-by-side -side comparison with Claude on real tasks. OpenAI introduced GPT-5 as a unified system with automatic routing. The router analyzes your query, its complexity, tools needed, and explicit intent, then selects either a fast model or deep reasoning model. This addresses a problem we've all faced, choosing between different models for different tasks. The pricing is where things get interesting and why I was excited to test it. I wanted to see how this translates in practice and whether the lower cost affects quality, which I'll show you in a moment. But first, here's what OpenAI is offering. Three variants with GPT-5 at $1.25 per million input tokens and $10 per million output. Mini costs 80% less than the flagship and Nano costs 96% less. That's a significant cost reduction compared to competitors. To see how this pricing plays out, I compared GPT-5 with Claude Opus 4.1 using the same prompt, creating a landing page for coffee enthusiasts. GPT-5 thinks through the problem, generates code, and plans its next moves. Though I'd be interested in seeing which models the router selected, and it seems OpenAI is working on making this transparent. So hopefully, we'll have more insights soon. GPT-5 took seven and a half minutes and cost 20 cents. Claude Opus 4.1 completed the same task in five minutes, but cost $1.76. That's 8.8 .8 times more expensive. Looking at the results, Claude delivered a cleaner UI with better UX and professional polish. GPT-5's output was functional, but text heavy with less visual refinement. GPT-5 also got a bump in context that's 400,000 total tokens, which is double the capacity compared to Claude's top models and matters for longer sessions. Overall, GPT-5 is way cheaper with larger context. But in terms of task completion, Claude works like a more experienced developer, 33% faster and delivering noticeably better quality. For developers, GPT-5 introduces useful control parameters. The reasoning effort parameter lets you control how deeply the model thinks. When it's set to minimal, the model outputs few or no reasoning tokens to minimize latency, ideal for lightweight tasks where explanations aren't needed. There's also a verbosity parameter to set response length. High verbosity produces comprehensive outputs, useful for detailed documentation and production-ready code. Both parameters default to medium. They've also added context-free grammar support which lets you specify exact output formats, giving you more flexibility in how you structure responses. There's been discussion about GPT-5's benchmark claims, and it goes deeper than just these charts. OpenAI reports 74.9% success on software engineering bench verified, a dataset they helped create with the original software engineering bench authors in 2024. They created this because many original software engineering bench tasks were unsolvable or had incorrect test cases, which underestimated models' actual capabilities. So they curated 500 samples verified by human annotators. Now here's the issue. OpenAI's system card reveals they tested on only 477 tasks, not the full 500. That's 4.6% of tasks excluded without explanation. This selective testing potentially inflates their metrics. Only OpenAI can clarify why these specific tasks were removed. But the broader pattern is concerning. AI companies increasingly modify benchmarks or test on subsets, then claim state-of-the-art performance. So testing models yourself matters more than relying solely on reported benchmarks. GPT-5 isn't the AGI we were expecting, but its unified system and dramatic API cost reduction make it compelling. 
However, many prefer choosing their models based on specific tasks. While GPT-5 works well for general use, Claude remains the better option for development work until there's stronger competition. If you're interested in prompting GPT-5 effectively, OpenAI released guidelines and optimization tools. I've linked them in the description. If you still want me to cover GPT-5 prompting techniques or dive deeper into specific features, let me know in the comments. If this helped, consider liking and subscribing.